Hello everyone. How is everyone doing? Today is Monday and I figure I might want to do this. I don't know if you guys are going to see this video. I figure, I mean, if you guys are seeing this video, I guess I decided to do it. Um, but I decided to do like a weekly vlog maybe just because I feel like I want to be able to remember this time, which was so incredibly hard for a lot of us just because um, of what we're feeling, what's happening um, around us. Um, and it's something that I guess I can tell my kids about one day that we experienced it. And hopefully it just brought us all closer together and stronger as human beings. And um, I was already vlogging through the weekend, but I was just kind of showing what I was doing and all that but not really sharing much of like what's going on through the news or anything like that. But I don't want to make this like all depressing and emo, nothing like that. But I figure I would just kind of share my daily life for the next few days and continue doing it throughout this whole thing that's happening. Maybe it'll be entertaining for one of you guys realizing that you're not alone, that we're all going through this together. And, um, Although I know that there are people out there that are actually suffering with this illness that's going around. Thankfully, I don't know anybody that is and I'm not myself. But it is affecting every single one of us in one way or another. So um, just knowing that you're not alone. Um, and I guess a little distraction for you. So today is Monday. Like I said, I forget the date, but I'll put it up on the screen. And I am currently on my break at work. Uh, we're considered one of the necessity companies, so we're still staying open. However, we don't have a lot of business, so I don't know how long we're going to stay open for. We might end up closing before the end of the week. I don't know. Right now, I think we're working through Wednesday, and we'll see what continues to happen. But either way, I just wanted to say hello and be in this vlog, and yeah, I'll see you guys after work probably. Hello everyone, it is 4.51 and I just got home. I'm going to start making some dinner. I think I've decided to do some, uh, not some, a burrito bowl. Because uh, I have leftover carne asada from yesterday for more tacos. And I have pretty much everything that I need. I'm going to experiment and make uh, cilantro lime rice. So I'm in the process of doing that right now over there. I'll show you guys what I'm making. But yeah, that's the plan for now. I got a package from Ulta, and I got my new Persona lip gloss, and this one is in hibiscus. It's so, so pretty. Let me open it real quick. Oops. So this is what it looks like right here. It's not like super pigmented, so don't be scared when you see that color. I don't know if everybody hear me. I started cooking the meat, but this is what the lip gloss looks like. See how it's kind of sheer? But it's pretty pigmented too, so I'm excited to wear this. lunchtime again it is now Tuesday um nothing new just wanted to say hello um check in and see how you guys are doing we're doing great here still working I think tomorrow my job they're gonna announce whether uh, we continue to stay open or not so we'll see what happens there so I might be working 
or not working at all. We'll see. Not sure. But, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to say hello, see how everyone's doing. Uh, I'm going to have some lunch right now. I brought some leftover roasted chicken. I'm not going to show you because it does not look very nice. And some tomatoes that I cut up in the morning. That's going to be my lunch. And then um, I'll see you guys after work. I'm not sure what I'm doing for dinner, so we'll see about that. But, yeah, I just wanted to say hello, chicken, and I'll see you guys later. So just opened a couple packages that I got from Ulta from the 21 Days of Beauty. These are from the Hot Buys. I think they're still available. I'm actually not sure. Um, but I had picked this up in medium. It was actually too like orange. So I ended up picking up the light. Which looks like... Wait. Oh, wrong side. Oh, it has a mirror. I didn't notice that. Come on. Which looks like this. And I think that's going to match me a lot better. I hope. Put it up against my skin. And let's see. Seems to match. Mm, there. It seems to match a little better. We'll see though. I'll have to actually try it on. But um, yeah. This is the one that Jessica Braun's always like raving about. That she really likes it. So I'm excited to actually try that on. And then I got this one. Oh it has a little hole. Right here, which is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Long Wear Foundation and Concealer. And this is what it looked like. I picked it up in... What shade was it? MN3. Um, that's the one that seemed to match me the best. And it's pretty cool. It has like a little... Oh, is that dirty? Oh, it's my own hand. Um, it has a pump. And then... And then it has a doe foot applicator. So that's really, really cool. I did see... Ashley Clady, she was talking about how she really loves the foundation. And I had thought about getting it, but I decided against it until I saw her video. And she said it's one of her favorites. And it's very long wearing. And she Um, so I brought some bread home a few days ago, but it started to go stale. It wasn't bad yet. So what I did is I looked up on Pinterest, like a recipe to make breadcrumbs. And it calls for stale bread um, or bread that you can leave out for a few days to make it stale. And pretty much what you do is you throw it in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes or so. And you make sure that it's all nicely toasted. And then you throw it in the food processor or like a blender. And you pulverize it to make it look like this and what hello hello everyone it is 4 48 and i just got home actually i've been home for about like 10 minutes but i started making dinner and i forgot to say hello so today for dinner i'm out of breath i'm gonna be making some chicken milanese or milanesa de pollo um with the breadcrumbs that i made last night and i'm super excited i had some chicken that i defrosted some chicken breasts and I pretty much have everything laid out, so I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make it. So, in this plate, I have the breadcrumbs that I made last night. And they're lightly seasoned with garlic salt. That's all I put in it. Just a little bit of that. Then here I have three eggs that I... Or three beaten eggs with some salt. And I put a little bit of the Italian seasoning. Then, over here, we have the ch three chicken breasts, which I'm going to slice and pound so that they flatten out and make them look like steaks. Then over here I have a pan with oil, which is what we're gonna be frying the chicken in. And then here I have a pan with uh, paper towels, which is gonna be used to drain the chicken after they're fried to get rid of any excess oil or anything like that before we serve it, so.
Alright, so dinner is finished. I went ahead and got the potatoes and I added some mayonnaise, chopped up the eggs, and then I added some peas, frozen peas and frozen corn because I like those a lot better than canned. And then here is the chicken. And I made a side of tomatoes and then I cut up some lemons because I like putting that on top of the milanese. And then he made, what did my mom call it? Salsa de golf? I think so, yes. Which is uh, ketchup and mayonnaise, which I guess now it's made. It's called mechup. Ma yeah. Mechup or something like that. So, time to enjoy some food. So from Thrive Market, I ordered a few things. So I picked this up, which is the avocado oil spray, and it's the Thrive Market um, brand, and it's Expeller Press, which is supposed to be uh, the good kind, and it's non-GMO, kosher, paleo, gluten-free, vegan, blah, 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 blah. But I like that the ingredients is literally just avocado oil. Okay, then I also picked these up. I saw Taylor Wynn talking about them. Um, I don't know if she liked them or not. She just said that she'd found them on the Thrive Market. So I looked for them. They were out of stock for a while, but then they came back in. These are the organic refried black beans. Then I've been wanting to try this one. This is the Birch Bender Pancake uh, Mix, and it's paleo. But also the ingredients in this one's pretty good, too. So it has cassava, starch, organic, coconut flour, almond flour, eggs, uh, leavening, uh, salt, monk fruit, which is what makes it sweet, I believe. And then spice. And all you need to add is, what do you add? Um, mm -hmm -hmm. All you need is water. Then I also picked this up, which is ranch, but it's um made with avocado oil i thought that was pretty cool also let's see the ingredients where are they the ingredients look pretty clean too i mean i can read most of the items in there and then also from taylor Wynn's recommendation she bought a ton of these she says that they're her favorite it's like a healthy ish kind of candy the smart sweets and this is the sour kind. I think they also had like little fish candy or whatever, but I don't like those. So I figured I'd pick these up and try them out. So, oh, you guys want to see Francisco's hair? You want to show them? No, no, so. really. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to show it? No? Come on. All right. So, yesterday I showed you guys him dyeing his hair, but the hair dye that it came with, I don't know if it, the hair dye wasn't strong enough or just the bleach, the developer. Uh, wasn't left on enough but his hair came out orange and then we dyed it the orange went away a little bit but it definitely did not turn gray so we're gonna have to buy probably either more bleach like a stronger bleach or a different hair dye or both however the problem right now is that sally's beauty salon is closed so we'd have to buy it online it's probably gonna take a while so I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do, but um, he currently has orange hair with a very dark beard. You want to show it? Yep. This is what it looks like right now. I present to you, Francisco. What would you call yourself yesterday? Robin. This is uh, Robin. This is his alter ego, apparently. But it lightened up a lot. Watch. Go back. Look down. Look how light it got. It's pretty, pretty good, I would say. But like I said, it's very brassy. So I feel like removing that brassiness if we can make it more white 
Um, that'd be cool. And I think it would pick up pretty well then. You wanna try one? Okay. I'm assuming this is orange. That's my least favorite, probably. They're supposed to be pretty good. Okay. Okay? Is it sour? No, they're just kind of stiff. For being gummies. Oh. I just thought that what makes it healthier. That it's so stiff? No. I don't think Maybe so. it doesn't have, like, a special ingredient that usually makes the other one soft and that makes it healthier. Like, less gelatin or something. Possibly. I think it just has less sugar. It's pretty good, though. Is that fiber? Wow, they have tons of fiber. Are we going to poop? Is that what that means? That's probably why they're so stiff. So is it healthy candy? It's supposed to be. Kick sugar, keep candy. Smart sleep. Sour blast buddies. Oh, so it comes with healthy stuff for you? Well, it has tons of uh, fiber. That's all it has, though? 20 grams of fiber for one bag. 80 calories. Dang. That's pretty uh, high in fiber. I don't think I've ever seen something like that. All right, so these were a success. I like them. All right, so dinner is made. Today's a simple one. I got the Milanesas from yesterday, um, sprinkled them with cheese, threw them in the oven, cut up some tomatoes, and then I had this ciabatta from Costco that we bought the other day, so I heated that up. Um, fun fact, so when you have bread that's like going stale or it's a little like hard what my mom taught me to do is you get a little bit of water and you kind of moisten the like the top and bottom layer so that it's kind of like almost slimy and when you throw it in the oven after doing that it actually revives the bread for some reason and like moist 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 moistens it moistens it moistens i can't say moistens, it moistens oh my gosh Moistens it. Moistens, moistens it. Moistens. I moistens. It. It good. Whatever. It makes it moist again, and it makes it like nice and soft and fluffy again. So if you ever guys have ever had bread that's old, try that trick, and it works really well. And then I had some frozen tater tots that we'd bought, and I wanted to use them up just so I can make some space for um, other things that I bought for the freezer. Hello everyone, happy Friday, uh, I got out of work, forgot to, I was vlogging, forgot that I was vlogging, so now I am home, we just finished having dinner, uh, we watched a few episodes of, or one episode of, uh, Lion, what is it, Lion King, no, King, Tiger King, Tiger King, it's really weird, very weird show, I think we're in uh, episode four or five or something like that. I think it's supposed to be a total of like nine. You wanna say hello? Okay. They're hungry, that's why they're doing that. And I forgot to show you guys what we had for dinner, but it wasn't very exciting. I had some frozen meatballs that I bought at IKEA uh before all this shelter in place happened. We went and I liked their meatballs, but I don't know why this one's I didn't really like very much. They liked it but I didn't. And then we so typically all these stores are well i mean it's already 10 o'clock so a lot of them would be closed but for sure there'd be people walking around um there'd be people that got these restaurants over there and here but as you guys can see i don't even know if they're open i think they're completely closed right now again it could just be the time too but 
It's a ghost town. Pancakes are done. They're really tiny. Um, this was a serving. I said from six to seven. You had to make them this size. So that's what I did. I ended up making, what, six? Total six. Yep. So he has four over there. And I made myself two little ones here. Gonna have my coffee. And then I poured my sister's... Um, I think it's not focusing. I poured my sister's jam that she made the other day on top. So. Alright, so I did a quick face of makeup. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's super, super, super simple. Just did like a little bit of concealer, a little bit of like a shimmery eyeshadow, some brow product, bronzer, highlight. And that's pretty much it. Let me show you guys what I have on though. All right, so for the concealer, I have the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I usually mix these two shades, the Light Beige and the Golden Beige. Then I have the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. I used this for the first time, the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Powder. I think it's pretty good. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Set everything with my more free spray. For highlight, I have the Revolution Highlight that I cannot stop using. For mascara, the Warrior Princess by Flower Beauty. For the eyes, pretty much what I did is I took this um, NARS, uh, what is it called? Uh, suede voyager eyeshadow and i applied this shade right here all over the crease this one all over the lid apply a little bit of that one on the lash line and this one on the inner corner this is like a super easy everyday type of eyeshadow i love it then i applied a little bit of this tarte cc under eye corrector in light medium i love this for when i have really dark under eyes it like neutralizes it really really nicely and then on the brows i just um ran the elf wow brow through my brows just to give it a little bit of um color and oh yeah and then for the primer i put some of the no problem prime essence this is like super hydrating so my skin has been feeling a little dry so i figure i'll put this on and kind of hydrate it but that's pretty much what we have on the face. I like I said. So I'm putting my um, HelloFresh recipes away, but I wanted to show you guys how um, I like to keep them. So I have this little binder, just a normal binder that I bought, like a Walmart. And I bought these. Where are they? These clear. I forget what they're called. They're like uh, sheet protectors. And pretty much what I do is I slide them in. And put one per uh, sheet protector. And that's how I like to keep all of our HelloFresh recipes. Just because there are some that I've really liked and they're super easy to recreate. everyone 455 and we went or we're out here for a walk this sounds weird we're taking a walk um it's like the nicest view of a mall 
but um, I was kind of falling asleep on the couch, so we decided to go for a walk and um, get some movement in. Uh, I think my sister's making us dessert, so maybe it'll even out. No? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Plus, we have ice cream now, too. What is she gonna make? You have ice cream. We don't have ice cream. It's for everybody. No, that's your ice cream. I don't like that flavor. Everybody can eat it. No, you can't do that. I'm gonna start buying everything I like, and I'm gonna say we have something. Well, you do sometimes. No, when? I never buy something for myself and call it for everybody. I say this is mine, and then I buy you your own. All right, so here is the dessert that my sister has made us. Tor tor what? Torta flora. Torta flora. I'm assuming it's like Italian or something. Who knows? Um, I think it's, I don't know where it's from, but I think it's Argentinian, right? That's where they make it? Maybe. Yeah, I think they make it over there in Argentina, but this one's made with strawberry it's jam. Like and then she made little tiny ones. Yeah, it's basically like a pie. And she made little tiny blackberry ones. And she said the next time she's going to make them all little like that.